This week on CD Romp, we're playing a game where you could pretend to have a more boring life than you actually have. Jim, be amazed. Whoa! <laughs> That's top notch amazement. Now, pop it. <laughs> the Welcome to CD Rob. A brotherly stroll through the PC games of the 90s and early 2000s. I'm Bob, and I'm here with my little brother, Jim. Ah, okay, yeah, Jim I wasn't boy. sure if you were going to continue your own sentence or not. You never no, really know. I've, I've, yeah, yeah, I know. Well, no, I'm going to let you. So, you, I'm always right, going right. to introduce no, you. I, no, and no, then no, you, you introduce No, no, no. Me. You should yeah. introduce yourself, and then just no, wait. I thought you were all right, Just spider. wait but one second, and I'll say okay. my mine own name. Okay, that's fair. And we're here today to talk about a game called The Sims 1. <laughs> this is a Bob pick. Um, last week on the show, we did uh, Command and Conquer, which was a Jim pick. And uh, then I dropped uh, The Sims on him unexpectedly to him. And I'd say unexpectedly to myself, about 10%, because I had been thinking about that I wanted to do it, but I didn't sit down and do any of the research to make sure it could be done. But I'll have you know, it was done. Not uh, not our easiest in terms of uh, getting it up and running. I have a little back story on that I'll, I'd like to share, Jim, if you let me start there. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, Jim. Uh, we definitely <laughs> didn't have to start again because of my dryer. Anyway, getting this game proved to be a little bit of a problem, a little bit of a dance that we had to do. I disagree. Normally, <laughs> uh, we're able to just, well, really, we've been getting them off steam. When, when we did the very first game, we tried not to, and it turned out to be way too difficult to get it up and running because of the compatibility with the newer operating systems. And then there was the whole played the wrong game mm -hmm, dilemma. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which, which was a thing that happened. Um, but this time around, went to go check out Steam. Wasn't on Steam. Went to go look at like through EA directly because that's who owns it now. Wasn't there. Um, went to the pirate internet. And then for some reason, the only version available was the Sims 1 plus all seven expansion packs, which is, uh, well, I'll talk more about that later. But all that's right, all seven expansion packs. It was an eight in one game. And we were going to get just do that because, you know, OK, it's there. We could start playing. Um, I had heard that the normal Sims 1 didn't play on Windows 10. And that's what we both have. So I was like, fuck it. We'll start doing that. We installed it. It was working. And I went to start playing. And I was like, this just doesn't have the same feel as when I played The Sims back in the day. This doesn't seem familiar enough because it had all the updated content. So I didn't I didn't start playing. I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to buy the goddamn game on the Internet, the real game, physical because I have to. And then uh, when it finally gets to my house, I'll start playing. So it was in the mail and I was getting very impatient waiting for it to get there so I could start playing the game. And I ended up finding out that this game, amongst a number of others that you can't buy anymore, are available for free. People are hosting them up. Um, I'm not going to say the names of the website so that way they stay <laughs> you know, hidden. I think available um, for free is a disingenuous representation. Well, it's called like freeoldgames.org, yeah, basically. Yeah, they've and there's, made and there's a free. Couple, well, no, I think it's because they're not for sale anymore. So if you're not selling them and making money off of it anymore, and there's literally no way to pay someone for the game, no one's going to sue you for uh, giving it away, I guess. Uh, I, I mean, because apparently it's a thing. Well, either way, I don't know the legality, and I'm not going to link to it. But one way or the other, if you Google your way around... Uh, and then you could do what I do and <laughs> look up on Reddit. Is this website safe? And everyone's like, yes. Everyone asks like once a month. It's fine. So I got it. I ran the crack that you needed to run in order to be able to run it on Windows 10. Did a compatibility mode, which is something you might need to do. I don't even know if I needed to, but everyone was saying that you had to run it under a compatibility mode. Did you do that when you played? <laughs> we'll get a divine no? experience. Okay. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. And I started playing. And it was exactly what I was hoping it was going to be the, in terms of the, the original game experience. Fast forward to today. And uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, you'll see I'm currently holding up the Sims disc mm -hmm. that came in the mail today. Now, something interesting to note on the front, uh, on a little piece of paper printed out, it says in like a very janky tape job here. This game is not made for Windows 7, 8, or 10, but most yeah. of the time, we can help you get it to run. If you are having problems, contact me through Amazon Messaging. Elaine. Yeah. Taped to the front of my thing. And if you want to know what it looks like on the inside, 
This is the very first game that we've played where we've had the physical copy. I wonder if that's uh, like uh, the first printing or whatever they call it had that. So for the people that can't see, it has like the album art, we'll call it, on the CD. Yes, it does. Um, I, I wonder if 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 it was released like that, or and it I has. Um, well, I could tell you that it's from the, one of the originals be, uh, time frames because it has an ad for SimCity 3000. Which I, came I feel out a like I remember a more simplistic um, design on the CDs, but maybe I'm remembering really? like Sims 2 or Sims 3 or something. I didn't play any of the other Sims, so this is the we only... had Sims 3. Did we? Yeah, I don't think I played it. That, I, they well, came out know, later in like you know the the big no, box. Roll. Yeah. Well, uh, th- this Those, one I think did box, have like a big Battlefield box Two release. came in. Well, I, Jim, I'll let you in a little. I'll let you on a little scheme that I have in my mind. Mm-hmm. I intend to get all of the big boxes for all the games that we play. No, I know, not, not like big box, like like classic PC big box. I'm sorry, compared to like that jewel disc, it was actually like a thick. If you oh. remember those thick thick boxes, not the long box. So this is actually not a jewel case. This is like a normal size case. Like you'd get for a music CD. Back right, right. This I, is like a normal. Yeah, whatever those normal cases are called, if they're not jewel. I guess jewel cases yeah. are the ones that are I think like colored, right? They're the ones I think that are like, all, I think this is technically jewel. Like it's not jewel something. slim. Okay. But whatever. I guess, uh, you know what? I was going to say we're talking about something that doesn't matter, but that, this is I mean, CD this is ROM, incredibly so. relevant. <laughs> <laughs> incredibly relevant. We are not relevant. often incredibly relevant. And incredibly unknowledgeable, which I would say is common. Yes. Yeah. Incredibly unknowledgeable yeah we are this is not known okay let's not but let's not break down the, these walls of of uh of psychology okay anyway got the um got the game i think it cost me i if you look at the the go on amazon to buy it the one that comes up is like 50 bucks which is what we were first talking about and i was like Ugh, yeah 50 i was like bucks don't buy thing. that and then I looked at all the other ones available and one was like for eight bucks. You know so what I we should have like really ended up doing? I mean, in a worst case scenario, we could just we could just ADR over whatever game title you had said that you were going to pick. You're like, you mouth <laughs> the word Sims and it says like Blast Core. Pac-Man. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Wow, I can't believe we're going to play Pac-Man. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. So I, I, I didn't think of that till just now, but we could have done that. But really, this whole rigmarole is only a problem because you did zero diligence in terms of looking up yes. the game before you picked it. Yes, that's 100% true. And yes. I'm going to try and di- diligize yeah. moving forward. So I already know what I'm going to Maybe not try, but be. like actual. Do. Yeah, do. I'm going to do. Yeah. Do or do not. So I'm go- I know, already know what my next pick's going to be. Okay. And so I'm going to spend the, the time ahead of time making sure we have the necessary materials his dark materials to play the game i actually so i found one so so in 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 turn right Mm. it's it's my turn to pick the game for this week right so i had one that i found that i kind of liked but it's only the only thing that i could find at least on steam and then i can venture out after that was a remastered version but it looks like it's like basically the same graphics like it's the same like polygon polygonal structure but like better shading and lighting and stuff Mm. But then I found well, another we, game, which which we'll use now, presumably. Well, we'll see what my gut tells me. Um, <laughs> but which is like seems to be pretty much original version. Okay. But like I, I don't know because like, well, let's wait till we get to that part, and well, then no, we'll we talk can more talk about, about how we pick the games. I mean, well, that's at the the portion where we talk about what games up next. I think the portions are as we dictate, <laughs> as you bring them up. Yeah, that's what the yes, portions King, are. Yes, King James. Yes, we will proceed. Um, All right. May I be allowed to at this take take a quick pause and explain how this podcast would works? Would you like to I'm take a? Qu- I didn't All do right. That. Yeah. Why don't you take a quick pause? We'll restart the episode. Yeah. Why don't you just, just redo <laughs> yeah. everything that you wanted to do? For those more. of you who aren't here during Jesus the filming, there's a lot of talk like that at, at certain points. We try and do the whole thing with no editing. And so far, almost every episode, we've been able to do that, minus environmental problems like uh, my dryer. I think last last episode the, was the, the only time clock. we've never had a problem. No. Well, la- last episode, we had to stop because of the grandfather clock sound. Oh, we didn't stop. We looked around. Yeah. I mean, we looked. Yeah, we investigated. Anyway, that, that, that's neither here, here nor there. We, I we think it actually would have. I think it would have been better been a better episode if I had walked away and investigated the sound, and you were just kind of talking to America. Well, what I was actually doing that I cut out was uh, singing Michael Jackson songs, mm. <laughs> and that could have been a copyright dilemma. I've been singing uh, 
What's the, uh, you don't have to take your, your clothes off to have a good time? I forget who sings yeah. that. Uh, it's Jamie um, something? Is it? Probably Rockwell. No, it's not Rockwell. No, I know it's not Rockwell, but I know it would please you here, just here. I know, Rockwell. and it did. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. So the way this nah, podcast nah. works I know. is we, each brother takes, takes a turn to pick a game. That's what we were just talking about before. And then we play that game during the course of a week for at least three hours, unless you beat the game, and then you could use your own uh, uh, discretion. Or there's a gym clause in there. If he feels like he he gets no, it, no, He's got, you know, I got no, no, no. it. It's the I Jim get Claus, it mandate. The movie. Yeah. <laughs> if I get that it, he, like, yeah, I, I, got he, it. I, I got it. I got yeah, it. If, if if he feels a point that like he got it, you know, there's, there's, there he, there is a point of diminishing returns, right? Like at some point, I, I'm experiencing the same thing for just extended extended lengths. Like, um, if I'm not collecting any new information, or you know what I mean, like. I guess at some point there's some benefit to the experience of grinding a game if that's if that's supposed to be the experience of a game. But like we'll we'll get to to you yeah. know how much I played this game and why I chose to stop when I chose to stop. <laughs> but well, well, it, I'll mention it, it, on the flip it may side, surprise I, I am forcing myself, and so either way, we'll get the three hours, and I'll I will also talk about what I did during that time. Okay. Sure. So we're almost we're we're almost about to talk about the Sims. I think we got into all the um the the nuts and bolts. And if you if you're listening to this right now and you think, hey, I'd rather be watching it, you can go to cdromp.com and click on the YouTube link, or vice versa. If you're watching us and you say, you know what, I don't really like these guys' faces. I want to listen to a podcast. You could uh, find that information as well in the description or below on YouTube or on cdromp.com. We will also be um running an alternative stream with cameras pointed at our crotches nice if um that's what you, if you don't want to be looking at our faces but you do still want to watch yeah uh, we will be offering that soon if you'd on, like to just mail us blank checks we yeah can get it's you actually that on feed. onlyflan.com we accept ah, payments only in flan. only flung a flung there's like a Why very g in there g. No, flung. it's a more flung. fun that way jim let me tell you the history about the sims Mm-mm. would you like to hear that Mm-mm. Yeah, I know you would. So, The Sims was created by Will Wright, who is also the creator of Sim City well. and a number of all other Sim games. Okay. So, I mean, I didn't know that. I didn't know that it was the same person that made all the Sim games, that it was like a, a Ron mean, Gilbert I type. I assumed, yeah, it was a similar studio. You know what? I, 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 I knew it was I, EA I eventually. Was, but Yeah. So, the company it was before it was EA it was called Maxis, which might ring a bell. It does because it, that's the, the folder that the game created in my computer. There you go. So that would make sense, which is eventually bought by EA for $50 million in 2005. Yeah. So Will Wright started out um, his uh, first PC game that he made. Actually, I think it was for like the Commodore 64. Can't remember the name of it, but it was like a helicopter shooting game. Mm -hmm. And it ended up selling really well in Japan for some reason. Big in Japan. So the the point with that is, and I should have wrote down the name of the game here, um, while and I'm not going to talk too much about SimCity, but that's kind of where everything started. While he was playing, designing slash playing the helicopter game, which has an overhead view, he realized that he actually enjoyed building the maps more than he liked playing the game. OK. And building all the different cities. So then he's like, what if I made a game building cities? So he did that. Uh, XYZ, that's not the game today. Uh, it ends up doing really well. He makes a number of other Sim games. Sim Ant, Sim Copter, Sim Tower, Sim... I don't know if it's Sim Animal or Sim Zoo. Um, he starts making Sim City 3000 um, and also kind of starts The Sims at the same time. Finishes Sim City 3000 and then puts all of his time into The Sims and then The Sims comes out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. The Sims was inspired by... In 1991, there was an Oakland firestorm in California and burnt Will Wright's house to the ground. Okay. And so he needed to get himself a new house together, and he was designing a new house. He has a background in mechanical engineering, um, architecture. So I think he was building a new house, and he was like, "Mm, I'd like to kind of design this on the computer first, you know, deck out my house. And then he was like, oh, this would kind of be fun as a game, building your own house out and seeing, you know, Mm -hmm, how it mm -hmm. looks. And then he thought, like, oh, it'd be really cool if I can kind of, like, decorate it, too. You know, put all the things in there. You're saying, like I would you're really saying this like life. a person who's made a house has never thought of these things before. I wonder well, if I've I could put house. furniture. <laughs> no, but here's the thing. Perchance he's, a televisor. You have to think, back then, 
Oh, I mean, oh, he all was all the way back then. Yeah, in the in the early '90s, no one thought about have decorating the, houses. I don't even have the freaking year that this game came out. I think it's 2000, but you'll see in the uh, description what year it is. Somehow I wrote down everything fucking but that. Yeah, but I, I don't think remember it was. the year. I think offhand. it came out in 2000, and I think the the last expansion came out in 2003. But um, I pre apologize because you'll be able to see right now if I was pre apologize. Anyway, so he that was the idea, and he's like, "Oh, this would be really fun to make a game like this." And then he and then you know eventually he came to the idea like, "Hey, what if we could fucking put some people in here and like see what they do and how they interact and uh-huh, shit like uh-huh. that." Um, so The Sims was born. Um, some of the interesting things about the creation of The Sims and the background um, that I thought was really cool. One is the idea of purposeful abstraction. So within this game, he purposely left certain things um, not as developed as they could be. For example, the graphics of the people. He purposely didn't want you to see too much detail of uh-huh. what they looked like. And also the language. Now, do you the think... The language in the game is like a made-up language. Yeah. So do you think the, the, the graphics one is a like a creative choice or a decision based off of graphics capabilities? Like... If you tried really hard, it wouldn't look good anyway, so a more stylized look might end up looking better. From what he said, it was a it was a design choice. Okay. They wanted people to kind of apply their own yeah. uh thoughts and, you know, brain to the characters. So they didn't want them to be too easily um I guess complicated yeah, and discernible. And, and the the made up language of the Sims is I love the words, Bob. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a classic I don't know. I don't know. It's a, a classic video game concept almost, you know? Can Is it? I thought it was Esperanto until I was watching it. No, it's, it's like not. No, it's not. I think that's the minions talk. No, yeah. So the minions is is a combination of things, and so is like the so it's so when I think of made up languages, it's funny. I I, I do think minions, but I, yeah. I think Sims, and I also think Animal Crossing. Oh, yeah. We're like Animal, Cro- Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is reminds me of actually now that it's, you say it's that like, like rare up, games, but it's well, also well, 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 yeah banjo. Well, well, you're right, well, well, but he's just well, he doesn't do very many other like sounds besides that one guttural one. It's like go 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 go. Yeah, yours isn't bad. I'm not gonna do it because I'm gonna fucking. I'm not gonna do it because I'll burst the microphone yeah, through yeah, the wall. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that that's the gist. I can do it off to the side. Go ahead. There you go. I feel like I could almost see the eggs coming out of you. That's I from Ben Kazooie was shot out of N64. Of oh, well, which side? Mm. Mm. They come out of TBD. both sides. Send that blank check and you'll be able to see which side it did or didn't come out Fund of. Fund our crotch For sure. Dot sure. com. Um, <laughs> so, yes. Um, within The Sims, as they're talking, um, they have little speech bubbles above their heads, which kind of show you uh, an idea. But that's really it. And he said he thought that if The Sims said actual things... You, it would take you away from the realism because you'd get, you'd immediately realize like, okay, they have no intelligence. They're saying mm-hmm, like the mm-hmm. same lines over and over. Right. It doesn't line up right. But if you don't know what they're saying, it's a possibility that they could be communicating in a way that you think was realistic. I mean, yeah, so, it's a great role playing technique to like let the player assign, you know, the intentions and the emotions and the intelligence to the character. Right, right. And another thing I thought was really cool, and, and we'll talk more about this, um, items are a big part of the game. And and skins and uh, being able to change a lot of things and customize, right? It's mm. a simulation, so simulations right. are usually about customizing. Okay, so right. before that's, the game that, even came so out... Okay, let me ask you, that's that's what you got out of reading about it or playing it? Both. Mm. Okay, all yes. right. <laughs> so before the game even came out, they developed tools to create modifications to the game and gave it out to the sim community because it was okay. a big community around the other games. So by the time the game came out, there was a crap ton of things already available that you can download. Fan websites. I mean, I, I don't think I've ever heard of a company create like real create tools, software, give it away to the fans ahead of time and give them like a lead way to start like, okay, here's what it's gonna look like. Here's the the screenshots. They invited them to live streams. They showed them and like just start start, you know, chipping away, build all your own stuff when this rolls. You'll be able to already jump in. You're ahead of the game. Mm-hmm. I mean, even just having them build a tool, like so, to not talk about StarCraft always, they give you a map editor in StarCraft, and I think a yeah. lot of games like that give you map editors. But like having a suite of tools, there was like, I think it started out there was like four different tools, and they kept adding them on, like map editor, house editor, 3D uh, struck uh, object editor, skin editor. All kinds of crap. It's really interesting. Skin editor. Skin editor. Your skin. <laughs> That's really yeah. Cool. So that was really cool. And um, 
the fact that you could very easily um, download items offline, either from the uh, official Maxis website or from uh, the number of mm-hmm. fan websites. And there was a crap ton at one point. I had no idea it was so big or maybe I just didn't remember. So that's the behind the scenes. I have other things I want to talk about, but I'll talk about it within while we're playing. Um, okay. But I'd like to start out um, kind of on a high level video sound sure controls and then i want to hear your experience kind okay. of walk through sure. so why don't we start on you open the game up we usually like to talk about intro in, intro cinematics and such okay was there intro cinematics there was a cinematic there was one intro cinematic where you see like a house being built like and like it all falls mm. onto like the map you were probably whacking the space I didn't bar see that one. <laughs> <laughs> at high speeds i actually read the intro cinematic is the best so far I think out of the games we played. Uh, no. Are you kidding? Better than Command and Conquer? Okay, sorry. I should have meant the graphics on it. But also, it's not oh. fair because the Command and Conquer remastered so intro no, was made yeah, like but, now. Yeah, I know. But so I that's mean, kind of unfair. I know, but that, is. Yeah, I agree. It is, but that's so dope. I mean, that is still the, that's still definitely the coolest thing. You're right. It's, it's, not, it's not canon. It's not really fair. It was yeah. retconned, really. But I'm, so this is one of the newer games in terms of the, the years of games that we played. Um, what year was Escape from Monkey Island? 95 or 90. Was it really that late? No, that can't be right. Yeah, because I tried to play the original one. I think was 94. I'm looking it up right now. Bear with me. Very professional. 2000 Escape from Monkey Island. Just looked it up on our oh, website. Which, what, what, what year was the one we tried to play? <laughs> that was earlier. That was yeah, much earlier. I think that. Yeah. So uh, comparatively graphics wise, I'll just talk a little bit about the graphics. I think The Sims looks Way better than Monkey Island. Okay, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. And it's the same year. I'm talking about like just the 3D well, to I 3D. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, you have to think they're probably trying to use the same graphics engine and stuff too in a series of games, and trying to what keep do you the mean? graphics what do you mean? and what art do you mean style by, similar. What do you mean by that? Like they probably want a Monkey Island game to look like a Monkey Island game. No, but there. What that was the first and. Uh, and only 3D Monkey Island game. So there was no precursor 3D. Okay, then I don't know. <laughs> I, tried to, I, I tried to give them some, some level <laughs> the of credit of the doubt. for consistent uh, the art style. The thing is, I think but... some people are just not as good as others. Oh, <laughs> I mean, sure. That's the. Re- I mean, there's certainly differentiators in, in the software market, right? I mean, different people. Yeah. Especially back then, there wasn't a standardized like Unreal Engine 5 that they're using to develop all these games. Yes, right. People that were like coming up on. with like Scrum and like using yeah. that, you scrum. know, Scum, Scum, whatever, Scrum, <laughs> Scum. I can't remember. We're very close. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree with you though. I think there was a lot less um, out of the box, ready to go components. Like you mentioned, they had had to create them, like Scum yeah. and a lot of the other engines. They had to build their own engine anytime they made a game. Um, I don't remember. I don't think. Well, you know what. So some of the earlier Sim games had dabbled with 3D. If I remember, SimCopter had some 3D. It was very, very basic. I but I thought this looked pretty good. I mean, when I'm playing it, I didn't feel like, oh, wow, look at this old janky 3D. I was just like, oh, this is all right. Uh, didn't yeah, seem very I mean, yeah, po- it, it, po- it di- polygonal. Yeah, it, it didn't seem like they were trying to do a lot. Like, I felt like yeah. in, in terms of the graphics, they were able to do everything that they tried to do. Like, sometimes yeah. when you look at, like, games around that time like like games on like the n64 or playstation around like the late 90s and stuff like that i mean yeah you know given they had different you know hardware that they, they were using to render these graphics but true they, like they look like worse they're trying to do too much with the 3d modeling and like where i think this game took like a more simplistic approach and it made it easier and better to look at yeah i agree and i think it it reached a really good mix of pre-rendered um graphics mixed with kind of moving live uh 3d animation so like okay we should probably talk about you know okay let's just continue what we're talking and then we'll talk about what the game's actually about maybe next time we'll do what the game's about to begin with i mean i think we should just do whatever and then we'll just at the end of the at the end of the round we'll figure out if we've talked enough and then we'll end either way so then we're so then in that case we're going to go from video into what the game's about and then sound after oh however you'd like to so this game is very interesting. Now, in terms of, like Jim was saying, the series or uh, spiritual successors of games, this is in line with the Sim series because it's a simulation game. But this one in particular, I think, based on memory of playing the other games, has a lot less 
and almost none goal. So you're you're a person. They give you a certain amount of money. They plop you. Well, not even a person. They plop you overhead and looking at a neighborhood and they give you the option to take a family that's already there and whatever money they have and move into a house. Or you can create your own character. They'll give you a little bit of money and you can either pick a blank spot of land or you could pick a house that's already there. From there, you pretty much figure out what you want to do. You can get a job and make money. You can just spend all your money and be a bum. You could build your house out bigger. You could tear it down and make it smaller. You could decorate it any which way you want. There's a lot, a lot of customization that you could do. And the whole idea um, is to just make decisions, see how the character changes and how the different environment changes and interact with different people. Um, and I think that's one of the, and I, I remember at the time it being really fucking cool and playing it this time, I didn't feel it was as cool. And it, I have like a, an arc that I go right. through. So, so I, I, I'm I really think, excited for the game. I play it and I'm not as excited. Yeah. And then I do the research and I really like it again. Right. Okay. So, so I think maybe because you're thinking of it as a game with a goal and like checkpoints right. to hit and things like that instead of being a life simulator and, well it goes and, back to and, uh, and in life i mean there is the burning question what's the point right mm. that, well, I, that I, every I, individual is left with right like what's what's the point of the daily grind what's the point of existence i thought when when i finished playing and i was like you know what i'm really kind of uh, bummed that i wasn't as hyped as i i used to be playing it and then i remembered back in, in when we were doing a spy fox episode mm-hmm. how um ron gilbert ronnie g oh was saying that younger kids have more fun just being there and mm-hmm. in the moment and aren't as goal oriented and as you get older you get more goal oriented in your gaming and i think that's why this time around, I didn't have as much fun as I remember having because I had less enjoyment just being there and interacting with all the different things. I was like, okay, what do I do? What's the next thing? What do, what do I get? Uh-huh, I gotta build, uh-huh. We got to build a bigger house. What do I get? More things? Got to have the most friends? Got to have a better job? It's like, well, how do I win? Who is this versus? Yeah, who versus? So, and I was trying to lay back into it, but I was having a hard time. Okay. So I, I maybe had a different experience. Um, okay, let's totally side rail and go off into gym experience, okay, land, and we'll so, come back so, to sound right, so, after. So I didn't know that there was an intro cinematic. Maybe I skipped over it. It was I, pretty I was, short. I was so I was pretty excited to just get the game to work because right. I remember you had sent me the thing, and I I forgot that it was in any sort of context, and I downloaded the zip file like that night, and then forgot about it. So I had the zip parked in like my download. So I down I unzipped it. And I installed the game and I was like, there's like an executable. I'm like, all right, Bob says I can trust this. I install it and mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, I see there's a crack and I try and replace it and run it and it doesn't work. I'm like, this is fucking shit. And there's like a read me and I read it and it has like info about the game. And I'm like, how do I get this crack to work? So that took me like, I spent like an hour to an hour and a half trying to get it to work because we, we, play each side in secrecy yeah yeah, yeah. We don't, we so don't you talk took about it to it the all. degree that you, we don't even talk about getting the game no up and so i mean yeah but it also like i was doing it at a time where you weren't at the computer Fair so enough. by the time yeah. you saw that i was having frustrations with it you messaged me like the next morning you're like you dingus it's on the website <laughs> and i was like well i didn't know that <laughs> i didn't read it but i also got it confused because you had sent me two different ones you're like oh mm. here's one good one and then you found a better version on like oldmangames.com right. or something like that. <laughs> something so like that. I, I so the second night I go to play it, I was like pretty excited that I even get it to work. So I think that's why I skipped past the intro. And mm. so I got to the point where it's like, okay, you get to make your family or pick a family or whatever. I was like, okay, I, I don't want to make this so complicated for myself. I was thinking about doing one person. And then I was like, ah, you know, that's kind of a cop out. So I picked like the the roomie thing. When you got mm. to make roomies. So they're, so they're the already pre-made ones you're saying. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Yeah, but I I made my own. You you pick like an option. You pick like the the category where it's like really oh, and then you get okay. to edit them. I got gotcha. you. Um and so I picked Rumi and I got to make people. So I made Jeremy Usborne with the U <laughs> and I made Mark Corrigan. But ah, I was like, I was no, like, you I, mean Mark Corrigan. Yeah, sorry, Corrigan. They got his name <laughs> wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uh was that British London publishing? <laughs> yes. Um, and, and so I, I was pretty excited about that. I got like their outfits down and their hair and everything. Nice. Yeah. And I go. So and, you were enjoying the character creation part. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was okay. very minimalistic, but, you know, I, I did it to the best of my ability. I thought we would both get a chuckle out of me doing the peep show characters. I did. 
Um, and I picked, there's one, so they give you a couple options for like houses. I didn't know that you could pick the empty plot of land that I didn't, I just thought it was a blank spot on the map. I didn't know you could pick the blank spot. I'm pretty, I, I don't know if right off the bat you can afford it, but I'm pretty sure you can buy it. Definitely okay. At some point. Yeah. So I saw that there was a small flat, you know, it was like a small house mm-hmm. and then, uh, like a bigger house and like a rich people house and you had like 20 yeah. grand and I was, and it was like the, I could only afford the small house. So I bought the small house. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, cool. I go to start playing. And then it like, it loads the house and they start going. I'm like, all right, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> but there's, there's nothing happening. Cool, cool. And I'm like, all right. And I'm like, okay, I guess they're going to like, I, I haven't, I don't know if I've ever played the original Sims. I'm like, all right, you I guess. Have, but you don't remember. Uh, maybe I was like, all right, I guess they're going to like, you know, drive up on their own at one point and they're going to like move in. I don't know. And so I'm like, okay. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. What do you mean? You're looking at an empty house at this point? Yeah. Um, and so I'm like, okay. So I wait maybe like five minutes. I'm like scrolling wait, around. Wait, what's your screen? Are you already looking oh, at the at town the or house. looking at no, the no, house? No, no, no. I'm at the okay. house. And they're just not there. Yeah, they're not there. And um, so <laughs> I, I go fuck? and I'm like, okay, I'll, you know, I'm looking around, clicking on the furniture and stuff. And I'm like, <laughs> sure. okay. I'm like, all right, let me start playing with the settings. Maybe I need to load my character in or something. Yeah. I'm like, hmm. That's not working. That does pause. And I'm like, this is goes into buy mode. <laughs> all right, that's not yeah. it. And then I start going through every key like I had to do on Monkey Island. I'm like, all right, hold on. We're going to try every key here. Maybe one of the keys is populate people God. into the environment. Um, and so Nothing's I go, unthinkable. I go, I go to all these car- I go through all, all the keys on the keyboard. I'm like, hmm, that's not it. And then I start messing with the F, F buttons. Mm-hmm. And it's doing all sorts of things. And I try and like quick save and it doesn't work. And then... I press like this other button and it, it like loads an hourglass and then half my screen glitches. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, hmm. And so then I start messing around with the fast forward in time. I'm like, all right, maybe I, maybe you're supposed to have like a day where you're by yourself just to get used to the environment. And then the next day, the people show up that you asked for. <laughs> so, this is such madness. This so, is, for anybody so, who's played the game correctly, this is so, a fucking so, madness. So I found, I'm like, all right, I go to the first speed of fast forward. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I'm like, all right, I get the point. All right, let's go fast, fast forward. <laughs> so I just want to mention again, he's looking at an empty house at this yeah, point. Yeah, this is an empty house. So now at this point, I'm on like day three. And so I'm like, all right, let's start ripping. And so yeah. I start ripping through the space time continuum. <laughs> and now it's been like a full week of sim in game time. Man, I'm like, I'm like, I think something's wrong here. I don't have any Sims. <laughs> and, it, and the game's not called The House. It's no, called and, The Sims. And so it's, it's, I also don't have any money. I was supposed to have money and I don't have any. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I can't, can't buy or build. I thought maybe I have to buy the people, but I don't have money either. <laughs> so you're just doing like a as time so, passes simulator. Yeah, I'm, do- I'm doing like an eon simulator. <laughs> and I'm I'm uh, like, all right, uh, let's just keep fast forwarding. Eventually they're gonna move in, I think. When's the first of the month? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this, You're this is an early maniac. version of the game. Maybe they would, you know. You are a maniac. Um, yeah, oh and eventually God. I pressed, I tried to like save again, and it's like, you can't save. But <laughs> Nothing's then, happened. But then the floppiness icon got stuck, so it's like really hard for me to click anything specific because it's a huge <laughs> floppy disk. Oh so now I, I've been playing for like 20 minutes now. Okay. And, I, and I'm like, all right, fuck this. I was worried you were going to say like an hour, two hours. No, no, no. I couldn't go that long. I, so it was like 20 minutes and I was finally like, all right. It, yeah. I can't even save either. And I'm like, great. I spent like five minutes making these perfect characters. <laughs> I haven't even seen them yet. And so now I'm like, all right, let me just do like a proof of concept. So I turned the game off and restarted it. And then I did yeah. Rumi again with like the basic characters. And they loaded yeah. right in. <laughs> that's really that's really weird they started the living you life i thought you <laughs> <laughs> they started simulating thought... right away <laughs> then i didn't have my characters anymore <laughs> when's the first of the month <laughs> <laughs> like they're really waiting and they're at their other place still, i don't, and I don't you have know to go to it's, wait it's, two it's weeks. supposed to be like a full simulator oh, so god yeah you know what i was thinking this whole time that maybe you had gone to the house without moving them in because there's a moving no. them in step. I mean, maybe. I still think that might be possible. The, the, the series of windows you went through 
Like you built, made your people, then you came back out to the main screen and then you didn't. But I clicked click on the house and I in. got the house that I wanted. I know, but I think it will let you go to the house without any Sims, as you've seen for Maybe, Eon but then Simulator. It's, yeah, but then it's, it. it lets me run through the week. I just, you know, waste I guess my time. So, yeah, I that's know. an odd. But so, odd so then feature. I um, got bug. two women and then I, I could talk about my Hold actual on. experience Hold on if second. you like. Yes. Okay. Please. So. So it is I, all your actual experience. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, this is this, this that is, was an entirely and incredibly real circumstance real. that I was put in. <laughs> but now there's Sims involved at least. Yes, there so there are Sims. Yeah. But it was a two bit, ladies. Yeah, it was two ladies. Um Do you remember but, their names? No, I don't think they had names. <laughs> <laughs> I just know the sound they make when, <laughs> when they're simming. Yeah, I, I fucking doubt they had no names, but please continue. It was probably like, I don't even know. I'd, I'd make like random sim sounds, but they might be close to real names. <laughs> um, Yeah, so, so I had, it, it was kind of confusing though, because I went from having no one and nothing around to like my sims <laughs> loaded in and then yeah. immediately neighbors started visiting me. <laughs> You sound like someone who's been in jail for 30 <laughs> yeah. years. So now like, you're not like not used to society. I, my Sims loaded in and all of a sudden there's these people on my screen and I don't know how to control yeah. them because my practice round didn't go so well. No. And I'm like, okay, here we go. I'm like, I think these are my people. Yeah. And then uh, two more, uh, another, which I assume are my neighbors, a mm. man and a woman also start walking into my house. <laughs> <laughs> so now they're all Wait, so you, didn't, you didn't greet them and invite them in or anything? No, they walked into my house. <laughs> that's really weird because that's not, that's something's <laughs> fucking wrong with your shit. And then, why they waited at the door until I let them in? No, they walked right into my house. <laughs> <laughs> Sims has no respect for you. And so then I figured out how to like talk to them. And then yeah. I got one of the girls to like make out with one of the dudes. And then I proposed Whoa. to him. Wait, you proposed it as the woman. Yeah, I proposed to him. Very and then he was like, whoa. Good for you. And then, but so I was using, <laughs> I was using my other woman to distract his supposed wife in the bathroom while she was trying to pee. <laughs> but then, eventually he really uh, needed to pee. So he kept walking closer and closer to the bathroom. <laughs> so by the time I proposed to him, we were all in the bathroom together. <laughs> and then she slapped me in the face. <laughs> and this is all within the new Wait, five, first five minutes that we play <laughs> with these new characters. Oh, that really wrapped up quite quickly. Yeah, yeah. Then, oh my uh, goodness. After all that, it got real awkward, and it wouldn't let me continue <laughs> to talk so? to him. <laughs> I'd click on him, and it just go boom. Like it was unclickable after that. It was so awkward. I think the game itself stopped you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And now this is you're only like forty minutes in. So many oh, more yeah. things happened to you than happened to me. Yeah, yeah. So then eventually, after the mailman came, like I, I was like, oh, let me go check out this newspaper. I picked up the newspaper. And I was I found out I was able yeah. to find a job. Yeah. So I got one of the ladies a job, um, and I, she was like in the army now, <laughs> like Pauly Shore style. <laughs> That's what you when so. Uh, every time you open the newspaper, I think the j available jobs are different yeah, in yeah. some way. I don't know what it, it depends on, but yours was in the army. Yeah. So for one of them, it was yeah, in the no. army. And then I, I don't know if I was able to read the same newspaper with two women, but, mm. um, but then the next day I got a different job for the other lady. Um, and I think it was like, do you remember how much it paid a day? Oh, uh, the army was like 300. Ooh, that's really good. Yeah, it was pretty good. And then the other lady got like a rock climbing instructor or something, and it was like mm. 150 or 175 or something. Yeah. Um, so then I like, so, so, so the, the way the game works is like you have to try and live life, but there's, I think, either six or eight like status bars that like mm -hmm. are in flux depending on your actions. Yep. So there's, like, and I actually have the names of them. Oh, hold on. Let's see how many I can get right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, fun, entertainment. Yes. No. What do you mean? No. Okay. Fun. Comfort. Yeah. Yes. Bladder. Yep. Hygiene. Correct. Did I say comfort. <laughs> yes. Did I say entertainment? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean no? What do you mean uh, no? Uh, uh, tiredness. What's that one called? Uh, tired. Is en it called tired? energy? Oh, energy. Energico. Yeah. Um, that's all I got. Um, you're missing hunger. Oh yeah. Bladder. I said bladder. Okay, you said bladder. Um, fun, 
That's social, a social, okay. social, and room. Oh, which is room like how nice annoying. Your, yeah. your room surroundings are. Yeah. So eventually, I got both these ladies to get a job. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, he's, he's get bums. a fucking job already, you bums. Um, so I, I found, I found the long. game to be jab. pretty entertaining. Um, hmm. Yeah, I, I found it to be pretty entertaining. Try, but I, and and maybe only because it was so hard for me to keep up, and, and it might have been my own wrongdoing and like for a while i didn't know how to get them to be entertained or keep up with their hunger or anything but the yeah. biggest problem i had was that they after they ate they always put their trash <laughs> on the ground and, <laughs> and they were so hungry all the time because they had such strenuous jobs i had to keep feeding them and there's trash everywhere Bob, the entire time they were emptying the trash <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you, though. It's constantly emptying the goddamn trash. Oh, my God. And, and I was love, wondering. They love throwing shit on the floor. I they was wondering it. if maybe while, while this was still going on, I was like, I should probably buy them a dishwasher and this might solve my problem. Mm. But I didn't do it. <laughs> Because I was like, so eventually one of the I got one of the ladies another job. Yeah. And so she was working nights. And I thought this was a better plan because like one lady would be sleeping while the other one's working and stuff like that. But now it just yeah. means around the clock trash pickup. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> it actually made it so much worse. <laughs> so now one lady uh, is off to work and the other one is eating and putting it on the ground. And I got to tell her to go pick it up <laughs> and put it in the trash. <laughs> and then, then she needs to take a nap. And then this one comes home and puts trash on the floor. And then <laughs> my floors. It was, it was I, I, towards the end. It was so nonstop. I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember, uh, Giving them stats, or did they have stats? Oh yeah, like so that you're, no. So you guys originally, that points. Yeah, when you start originally out. Yeah. when I made the the Mark and Jeremy characters, I gave them as realistic as I could to the characters of the show. Nice. Points. We're talking about the show Peep Show. Yeah, for a sitcom from the UK. I, there's only like four things. I think it's like outgoing, social, uh, neatness, neat, and something. So yeah. I did Mark is like the high neat and like yeah. low outgoing and like. Two yeah. points to social or something like that. <laughs> and I gave Jeremy like outgoing and social and like no neatness or, or yeah. no active. <laughs> Damn. Uh, the universe just stopped you from that perfect scheme. I know. Although yeah. it did seem to end up with uh, hilariousness regardless. Yeah. So, so um, but so, I apologize. so I'm looking, I'm just looking at my notes. Yeah, you that's fine. I'll keep talking about my experience. So, mm -hmm. that I, I, and it was like, I, I thought it was pretty good because like I enjoyed them like getting promotions at their job and like. I had like a workout set because they both had like physically strenuous jobs. So I had to get them to work out to like do better at their jobs. Oh my God. Look but at the you. one blonde lady was such a bitch. She <laughs> would like, even when her like fun or, or comfort or entertainment meter was like all the way up, she'd be like, huh, I'm not in the mood. And she would exactly. actually with no words. me. I'm like, oh, yeah, because you get a pop up. I'm like, I'm, not I'm in omnipotent. You can't tell me that. <laughs> yeah. You can suggest strongly, but you can't make them do it. I can't. And I tried. Yeah, so did I. But I did get a pinball machine. Um, mm. I put some art up mm. on the wall to improve the room. Nice. Um, eventually, I realized that my room outside was really bad, so I put up some flamingos and some cacti. Nice. And I learned that you also, for whatever reason, need to water cacti because my yeah. room outside turned into five negative arrows to the left. Because apparently my cacti were too dry. <laughs> I guess they gave all the plants the same plant So properties. all of that positive room that I built up, every time they walked outside to take out the trash, which was They're every like, minute, <laughs> I lost all of my progress. <laughs> They're like, hmm, I don't know about all these dead cactus. Yeah, you'd think they'd thrive in the dryness. You'd think so. They were born in it. Did you know that if you had the funds and and the uh, the want, you could hire a gardener to water them for you? I did not know that, no. Yes. And you yeah. could also hire a maid to clean up your trash. I did not know that, no. <laughs> your Honor, I did not I, know uh, that. Your Honor, I did not. I do not, I do not recall. Yeah, no, I don't know that. Um, but I, I was building up some money because I was thinking about buying a bigger house, but I kept having... Mm. Oh. Nice. <sighs> Bob. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I think it was the first night... That I yeah. was with this new two lady crew, the new crew. We'll call <laughs> two them. lady, two L crew. Yeah, the two, the two L crew. Yeah. I was burgled. 
<laughs> I don't know if you were burgled at any point. I, I wasn't, but I remembered it being a thing and I, I kept waiting to be burgled. I was immediately burgled. <laughs> This is at the point where I was still unsure how to select each woman <laughs> and how to give her individual tasks. There must have been such chaos. But these going ladies on at your were desk. sleeping and I couldn't figure out how to get them up. And this guy was <laughs> burgling me so hard. It's like he he was running around the outside of my house and I was trying to cut him off. But I ran into him outside and he didn't care. He just gave me a rope of dope and came inside and stole my artwork. And then he took my <laughs> coffee maker. <laughs> That's fucking cold. That is I ice couldn't cold get the other woman up, and then our shit. entire house was defurnished, and this burglar ran off into the distance. <laughs> and I Damn. had to start all over. Dude, so much shit was happening to you so quickly. Dude, it was wild. So that's uh, one interesting part of the game that he had mentioned. There's a lot of ways that things could go wrong, and they really made a lot of effort to make it very unpredictable and very diverse. So that's like one thing that could happen. Also, there could be a fire. Mm. Also, someone could just like get a disease, I think. Okay, and like be really sick. There's like oh, all kinds of crazy my shit. My toilet did explode at one point too. And also yeah, my sink happen. did explode. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that you also had to flush the toilet. So yeah, a lot apparently. of people were using it and then there was sewage <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Uh, and they're like getting proposed to there's yeah. sewage everywhere yeah. a lot of things are happening in the bathroom oh my god yeah at one point the sink you must had a large bathroom the sink exploded in the living room but <laughs> claire or whatever her name was needed to go to work and she couldn't figure out how to fix the sink so i'm like trying to get her to fix the sink and she keeps wrenching it and wrenching it and i'm like all right i guess the sink's gonna be broke till you get home claire <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Vanessa, whatever the girl was, she yeah. got up like three hours later and I had her mop up all the garbage. <laughs> well, did you see when she tried fixing it, the little bar that came up? No, I didn't get a bar. Oh, so the way that it worked with uh, well, my guy is like when he's going to fix it, a little progress bar pops up and then it just takes a while for him to finally keep tinkering with it to fix it all the way. Oh, my but God. But it could have been that his specific set of traits allowed him to do that. Whereas yours didn't, but they could do other things. Yeah. Let me tell you something else. Listen, Bob. my guy was no fucking cup of tea. Bob, okay. But before we even get to what your experience like was at the game, sure. which it's, yeah. it's probably pedestrian compared to mine. It's so pedestrian compared um, to yours. Yes. I, so I also didn't know that you could rotate the house, right? So well, that was been very annoying. So uh, it wasn't annoying at all. Although until, it's super obvious on the HUD. No, I don't really look at that. I was just, I was, Bob, I so much was going on so quickly. I didn't get a chance to look at the HUD. Yeah, I, I could um, see that. So. Right away, I noticed that people were, you know, eating food and putting trash everywhere. <laughs> On the ground. It, it, within their, like, third meal, I noticed that <laughs> one one girl, I don't remember who it was, if it was Claire or Vanessa, whatever, who, who, they put their food down right in front of the cabinets to where I couldn't click on it. And Bob, there were flies <laughs> into my ears for about a half an hour. <laughs> I know exactly that happened to me too. That, that, that at one point, if they put so here's a gameplay mechanic: if they leave their trash out and don't pick it up, eventually you'll see little flies over it, and you'll hear buzzing, and it doesn't stop. Yeah, there's also no and music, if, at least in my version. If you're stuck in the, um, if you they somehow put it down somewhere. And it's in like a glitch spot, which happens every once in a while. You can't pick it up and it's just stuck there. Yeah. I don't. Why it wasn't there music in this game. I had to go into buy mode just to listen to music for a little while to get away right. from the flies buzzing in my ears. <laughs> <laughs> because I was going I, fucking I would insane. <laughs> <laughs> I was there. I was right there with you. And I will, I will tell you something about that later. Um, I'm going to think it's probably because in the simulation mode, they want it to be like real life. And as... The creators of um, what fucking game? Oh, Mist would say mm -hmm. and did say back in the day, real life has no music. And so they thought it might be I mean, pull to be out. fair, I'm real life guess. has a lot of music. Yes, that's true. But also, you could have been playing music on your own. I could have, but that would have been, you know, yeah. disingenuous. I thought about yes. it and I, you know, stopped myself. You Stop. know, this is actually the perfect time for us to jump back into sound. Sure, talk about we sound. Went. So actually, the, the one of the first notes that I wrote was that music and it's when the game first started up uh -huh. and i was like "Ooh, these are some tasty jams mm. and then as you mentioned in normal play mode um there is no music yeah. but when you go into build or buy mode which kind of shares one 
paused uh, reality. There is music, and that music's actually really good. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, a lot of those that... tracks are really good. Dun, 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 yeah, it was kind of like a dun, like a better than see, elevator. Could... Catchy. It got caught. I can hear it in my head. Oh yeah. Well, oh, I'm not gonna play it right now. Yeah, but anyway, jeez. Yeah. Also, it's kind of unfair because I had played it back in the day a oh. bunch, so I kind of already had pre-caught a little bit. But yeah, really good music that I enjoyed. But but I agree. It did have a little bit of a plain Jane vibe when you're just sitting there in silence listening to someone eat. Yeah. Which they often did. Oh, my God. They eat so slow, too. <laughs> Dude. And they have to make Working the out well. what time I needed to get them up to go to work was so annoying. Because I was like, all right. <laughs> well, you made it hard on yourself at two different times. I, no, I, I, I don't control what job they take. I mean, I guess at least they do. What do you call it? Yeah, yeah uh, you actually very <laughs> much do. <laughs> but I didn't know when I accepted the job what time they were going to have to go to work. Yeah, because I think after you accept it, it tells you after. Like, yeah. The car will so be originally it was like X time. Yeah. When, so the the military girl had to start work at six. Ooh. She got picked up at six, and the other one got picked up at eight or nine or something. So it was kind of the military staggered. chick get picked up in like a tank. It was a Humvee. Nice. Yeah, it was cool. So yep. there was different cars for different jobs then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. And cool. then so eventually, uh, Rachel or whatever I'm calling the the dark haired girl, Vanessa. Vanessa, sorry. Um, I, I, I got tired of her job, which was like mountain climber or something. Cause she was making less money. Yeah. And the second job I got was like medical assistant or something. How much did that pay? That was like three honeys. Ooh. Yeah. That's tasty. But she worked overnight. That's when it, mm. that's when the 24 seven garbage started coming in, Bob. 24 <laughs> seven garbage o -rama. So at least when they were working around the same times, I could put them to bed around the same time. Right. And like yeah. I could work. And if the blonde girl, Claire or whatever, like got extra tired throughout the day, because like in the beginning, I needed her to work out to be better at her army job. I'd work. How did you know to do that? It said physical fitness helps you excel or something like that. Oh, OK. You read something. Yeah. I clicked it away pretty quickly. I mean. <laughs> I didn't read the whole thing. I just saw physical fitness. I mean, I got the idea. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Uh, so I would like nap her when I needed to. To, but to could, be fair, I think you actually read more about your job than I did. Yeah. Because I didn't know that. About yeah. How the skills well, it might have been irrelevant your for your job. But I, I, I didn't need that for when I got the medical job. But when I got the, the rock climbing instructor job too, it said physical fitness helps. So I tried to work out uh, Rachel or whatever I said her name was again. Um, but she was a little less inclined to do so. Jim, it's Claire and Vanessa. Okay, sorry. Okay. Apology accepted. Yeah. I don't remember Jim, where I, have I was one going note with the start that, of this which, conversation. <laughs> I have one note here that yeah. you'll appreciate. I doubt so it. So my guy didn't do a lot of throwing garbage on the floor. Once in a while. Not constantly. Oh my God. But this chick was over at one point and I write in all caps, um, why did you just throw your trash on the floor, bitch? Oh. Because this bitch is just... Let me tell you something else, Bob. <laughs> my yes. phone kept ringing when no one was home. <laughs> <laughs> and I wait. I thought someone was always home because they worked in shifts. No, eventually, towards the end, they worked in shifts. Oh, okay. That in in the last like quarter of the game, so maybe the last like twenty minutes of me playing. And that's a strange mechanic too, actually. Now that you mention it, like, oh, so we should probably mention when your character goes to work, they're totally off screen. You yeah, can't yeah. interact with them at all. You yeah. can't see them until however many hours later. Time goes faster than in real life. I think each minute's a second or something like that. But you could also fast forward and triple fast forward. So what Jim's talking about is certain points when both of his characters were at work. You're literally looking at an empty house. Yeah. So it 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 will auto fast forward for you. So it goes by really quick. Okay. Yeah. Um, but either way. Did you have someone that, that didn't work? Well, yeah. That you so didn't well, experience I'll, that? I'll let, I'll let you finish up yeah. and then I'll... No, so, I'll tell so, you my own um, spiel. So I, I should say it was actually probably longer that I worked um, in the in the continuous shift. It was probably like forty minutes or something like that. I, I don't remember. Mm. It was hard, but but towards the end, I like I didn't want to stop, especially because I tried to save, and again, it told me I could not save. That's really weird. So yeah, I did it all in two sessions. But you know what? We were as we kind of, and I don't remember if this is one of the parts we had to re redo the. It was advised to start the game in compatibility mode. Oh uh, yeah, I didn't for read Windows that XP part. and in admin mode. Yeah. So because you weren't on admin, it might not have been able to write. I out remember you files. sent me some sort of message like, <laughs> "Make sure you run it as admin." And I was and like, you're like, "Oh yeah, yeah, blah blah." Yeah, blah. I was like, "Goo goots, whatever." I know how to play a game. Yeah, like Thank I you. Yeah. And so I didn't yeah. run it as admin, and I, you know, made that administrative error. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> maybe that would was affected. Uh, Jeremy and uh, Mark yeah, as well. Yeah, I mean, definitely possible. The inability to write out files. Yeah, maybe. yeah, I don't know what the hell was happening. It was really bugging. Um, That's probably why, yeah. 
Unfortunately, I, I mean, I, I kind of, en- I mean, I enjoyed playing it. I, I thought like I enjoyed like the kind of progress I was making. And like I, once I started to figure out how to get Claire going, like how to get yeah. her hunger and fun and entertainment balanced. And like yeah. Vanessa was like no problem for me or. Oh, um, but Claire was like posing to be a problem. I could like never get her fun up. And like yeah. it was kind of weird because they would like let you go all the way down on some things. But then like. Some other things they would take their own control and like they would go pee by themselves when their bladder wasn't yeah. all the way down or they would go have a snack when I didn't tell them to or go talk to each other. And I'm like, bitch, I didn't tell you to talk. <laughs> <laughs> there was definitely a, a mix of helplessness and AI awareness. Yeah. And they would kind of make up their mind if they wanted to just piss on the floor because their bladder was oh, too Oh, that never full. happened to me. Or definitely happened to me. Wow. Or... When they're so tired, they just collapse on the ground. Oh, what are you? Okay, let's switch to you because. (laughs) Okay, so let me read you my through my journey here. So the first person I played at was the bachelor, which is one of the uh, types of people that you can kind of choose to start out with if you don't want to make your own uh, thing. And it was just one guy and I named him Michael. Michael Bachelor. Mm -hmm, Okay. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Started out. He had 20 grand. Sorry. And the house was 10 grand. First thing that I noted when I started the game is you make your person pee, and that's really weird. Yeah. I had forgotten that you have to tell them to pee, and then they'll go walk over and pee. So I think in the later sims, there's strange. some level of automation you can assign to something with peeing. Yeah, I think with peeing and like some other bodily functions. I think I it's maybe because of my less wild style of play or maybe because it was one person or maybe the traits that I assigned him but I got very bored very quickly yeah I didn't want to do one person like that you know I kind of regretted it when I got to the end of my play but I'll, I'll talk about them more later so in order uh, like as we mentioned we're trying to balance their different um, current emotional states mm-hmm. amongst all the different uh, uh, metrics right and I have a note here I'm just watching the guy watch fake TV right now what am I doing? Because like when you're waiting for his bar to fill up with happiness, if you don't have it on yeah. fast forward, he's just literally sitting there watching a TV. Yeah. Now, the yeah. TV screen doesn't change, you know, in real time, but there and but there is fake sounds happening, like blah blah blah, you know, blah 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 blah, and then someone will laugh, and he's laughing, he's fucking yucking it up, I and I'm just sitting there like, cartoons. what the fuck am I? Yeah, I did that as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just like, I, I didn't what the know. Hell am I didn't I even think that there would be a screen to the TV. The way I had it positioned in my house, it was facing away from me. Well, because you didn't know that you could turn. Right. So, so, right. so you could turn the whole house all the way around. So Jim only saw one side of everything he owned. Yeah. It was which a, means it was you a probably good decorated side. things in, like, in your house. Fucking mad walls. Probably well, had no wallpaper. Because you thought you had got it, but you really couldn't see it. Towards the end, I could spin it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I remember doing that a lot as a kid. You thought you had everything all decorated perfectly, and you turn it. It's like, oh, fuck, I missed, like, three walls. Yeah. Of all... Uh, uh, wallpaper. I did learn eventually you could turn the things that you had by like clicking and kind of dragging or spinning. You could mm-hmm. you could turn the, the yeah, items, move them had. around that you yeah. already put down. You yeah. could turn things. I, I you know Jim, I think you're right because I have one of the neighbors showed up. I have hottie alert written mm-hmm. in all text, and then I have chick went into my house. Yeah. So I guess she just walked in. Yeah, I guess. I mean, so at this point. The neighbor comes to visit my guy, you know, they're going to it's at the very beginning of the, de- the game. They kind of send the neighbors over. You don't have to do anything. They're interacting. And I wrote here. It's impressive that they know how to eat food at tables with chairs. So you had essentially, a table. So I bought a table and chairs. Mm. And when they started like eating or he I told them to serve food, they knew what to do. They took mm. the food. Mm-hmm. They went over to the table and they sat in chairs, which I thought was impressive to connect those things because you could have put the chairs anywhere and the tables anywhere. It's not. Connected. I didn't think about buying them a dinner table. I had so everyone. So maybe that's why they kept putting the food on the floor in the kitchen and then <laughs> eat their food standing <laughs> like fucking animal. So um, that's probably why. Yeah. Because after they finished eating, they couldn't put their plates down on the table. They just dropped it on the floor. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. Well, now you, you know, you live it. and you learn. Uh, yeah. So in terms of jobs, uh, I read the paper, like you mentioned, and my my dude got a job as a waiter. He was either a waiter or a busboy, but he didn't make dick. It was $100 a day, which is like nothing because Damn, things in the game like start at like $75. But I didn't know if that was a good job or not. I mean, I mean I you just should started. know that's... Yeah, I but mean, this is sim world. Right. I didn't know that the value... You could things. shoot anyway, for the moon, though. You know, be like a doctor in training or something. It's true. It's true. So I, I started out with that. Um, 
Then at some point the chick came back and oh no, she was she wasn't coming back. And I'm like, I'm just not coming back. Let me find out about her. So I went through the different HUD menus and I saw her picture and it said information about her. And it says she enjoys a variety of activities from golf to miniature golf. Okay, that's a variety. I don't think that's a fucking variety. I mean, a variety in size. I think, that's, I think that's two activities. No, I mean, there's... Well, and that's there's, like saying she enjoys a variety from painting to baseball. From no. golf to miniature golf is yeah. as small of a change as you can make. Um, What if there's like... Medium golf. Yeah, medium golf. <laughs> really big golf. This is golf. the point where... Froth. Yeah, Frisbee froth. golf. This is the part where I started getting bored, so I called the cops... To see what what happened, they came to the house and oh, they told me off because well, I was they were really pissed. I, I had about no it. time for cops, which well. is what you're supposed to do when the when the burglar comes. Oh, you call the cops and then the cops. I was trying to jump burglar. him. I could tell, and I don't yeah. think they're equipped to do that. Well, I thought maybe so, he would get spooked off, <laughs> but so at this point, nobody's coming around anymore. My guy's just working. He's pretty much out of money, and it's becoming very repetitive. And I'm th- I'm starting to think like. Wow, maybe this game was more fun as a kid because I didn't have a job and I didn't have to clean up things. Mm -hmm. So like even simulating it was just fun because it was different. But I now I'm just living a fucking boring ass life with this guy. And he started to get really unhappy because his social bar got all the way down to nothing. And I'd be calling people up on the phone and try to invite them over to hang out and nobody would come. (laughs) Uh, That's great. So, So I have a note here that. I called up the one chick I know, and she said, I'm sorry, I can't come over. I have to feed my llama. Wow. Don't know what that's about. There was a number. Uh, here's another one. She said, I'm sorry, I have a previous engagement that I will make as soon as possible. Wow. Wow. Right. Yeah. So I go, great. Now my guy's depressed because he's a fucking loser. I actually. And I, he wouldn't yeah. do anything. I tried to make him happier, and he said, he's too depressed to read a book. He's too depressed to play a game. He's too depressed to learn to cook. Wow. So he wouldn't fucking do anything, but nobody would come she over. She had such a sad experience. <laughs> the fuck? It is a million times different than yours. Oh, my God. I, and I was like, holy shit, I have no fucking money. My job sucks. My life is boring. Nobody likes me, and I can't even dig myself out of this hole. Oh, man. It was I, 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 it was too su- real su- of a simulation. Su- such a such a different experience. I was spending so much time doing micro adjustments. I'm like, okay, I was queuing up tasks. I was like, okay, Claire, you're gonna work out, then you're yeah. gonna eat, then you're gonna flush the toilet, then you're gonna use the toilet, then you're gonna shower, right. then you're gonna eat, then you're gonna go to sleep. And I have all these queued up. And yeah. then I'm like, okay, Vanessa, now it's time for you. I was like, okay, you're going to eat. <laughs> then you're going to clean up. Then you're going to use your, the bathroom. Uh, what's the thing that they do to measure? So like PM, like you're, you're doing like task uh, yeah, per AP, minute. APM, yeah. Your APM for oh, your I, sims, I, your micro. Like, very quickly, I was microing so hard. Like I did not have enough time in the day. <laughs> I'm like, oh. in, your, in real life, in your real life day, in the, in my real life day, in their real life day too. I was like, I was struggling to get them to sleep on time so they could wake up with enough energy. <sighs> it's so weird, and I think this has been one of the like hidden surprises of this game. We never know who's going to enjoy the game more and who's going to do better at it mm-hmm. between you and I. We ne- we never know, and it goes, it could go so differently. And this is a perfect example. So my shit was so boring and I was really getting depressed and your shit was off the rails. Yeah. You were micro. Mine was like, cook the food, clean up the food, but you take a shower, food? go to bed. Oh, so I found <laughs> out later in the game. First of all, he would cook food, but I found out later from going through like every menu and the help menus and stuff like that, that if you buy a... um. I forgot what it was. Something else that he needs, like a counter or he needed something to be able, a place to put down the food to cut it up or something like that. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it's like, oh, if you buy this, he'll get better at food. Also, if you get him to read cooking books, he'll get better at food. And if he makes better food, they'll get more full so they don't have to eat as often. Right. Okay. I I didn't have time for that. I was, they were eating so (laughs) much all the time. (laughs) Yeah, but they're eating the shittiest (laughs) food all day long. She was like, eat another bag of chips. Uh, No, they were having it already. I don't understand why. They were having full lunch and dinner over and over again. (laughs) I had to keep queuing them up to like, Dinner, shit, dinner, clean, dinner, workout, dinner, play pinball, shit, dinner, sleep. <laughs> you know, I actually love that schedule you just yeah. did. That was my schedule. It'd be very active. Oh my God. It. it was so, it was, but like, it does, it was so it did strenuous. Feel like, it did feel like at some times that like you didn't have enough time in the day, like you were saying, before you had to go to bed to get up for work. Yeah. Which I wanted to make too, sure they were rested. Which is a little too real of a feeling for me. Yeah. But then the, the one night where my, real where my kitchen sink exploded, Vanessa was so tired because I had her up wrenching the sink all night. 
<laughs> which is like real life. Yeah. It's way, way too much like real life. Um, I, at one point, to try and cheer this bitch up, I tried to buy him a fucking, uh, I, I sold a bunch of stuff to be able to buy a pool table. Okay. And I changed, I got rid of, I sold walls because you could sell walls and make the house smaller oh. and sell your floor and get the money. Right. So I was cutting everything back to get him yeah, something to cheer him up. Yeah, because you had such a shitty job. No wonder he's depressed. He has no walls. <laughs> yeah. He has no floor. He has no friends. <laughs> So I buy this fucking Jesus pool table, which costs thousands of dollars. This <laughs> cocksucker walks up to it and goes, oh, oh. literally that sad. Uh, I was going to fucking murder him. <laughs> you amazing. piece of shit. Are you uh, fucking kidding me? That's great. You, to play the goddamn fucking pool table, for Christ's sake. You should have bought a so pinball. Like, it was like seven. So then I was like, what the fuck does this guy like? So I sold that. And I bought him a uh, the model train set. And wow, he probably you're making it. you're creating such a loser. <laughs> he has all he has no walls, no floor. He just has a model train set. He has no friends. Jim, people, I, people are literally I, making up llamas Jim, instead of I hanging out with him. Didn't choose for him to be like that. He decided <laughs> that he only likes train sets. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, did he start <laughs> playing with it? Yeah, he loved so it. So he was like a dirt He was floor. going fucking nuts. So this guy, oh my so, god, he was so happy. So this guy is in like out. a Hooverville shack with a model train, <laughs> like no friends. No, the fucking train set was gigantic. It was huge. It was like bigger than my IKEA desk here. It was gigantic. I even wrote, wrote a note. Fucking train set is Mongo. Uh -huh. I wrote down. He was huge. He was loving it, but. I couldn't get him to do anything else. I, I have a note here. It says, uh, oh, so eventually I, st I had him stop going to work. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, Addy, did you, did you just, just not go. get in the car when they came? Yeah, I just didn't go. The guy's outside honking. So and this, I'm just so like, this is like an office space up. situation where you don't quit. You just stop working. No, except he wasn't smiling. He was <laughs> dead asleep. Because the night before, he, he fell asleep. He on the floor. <laughs> no, 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 Bob. He doesn't have a floor to sleep on. <laughs> uh, there was portions with floor. Oh, my so he God. fucking he fell asleep on the floor, and so I just left him there. Wait, wait, wait. Does he have a bed? <laughs> yeah, he has a bed. He has a bed. He fell asleep on the floor, and so the oh next day God. I was like, you know what? I Fuck cannot this. believe this. My ladies were getting into their PJs, <laughs> tucked in at nine p.m. every Women, night. They have their shit together, you know. First Women of all, know how I'm to do the it. one having getting their shit together. No, they but they anything. enabled you, no, Jim. No. If you were telling them, go work out, go clean up your food, go do this, and oh. he just falls asleep on the floor. <laughs> no, they were happy because I was give. I was telling them what to do, and I was giving them a happy life to live. <laughs> Michael Bachelor's life was garbage. <laughs> Anyway, so I let me so let me continue. Him. So he sleeps on the floor, and I go, you know what? Fuck it. Don't even go to. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> this is like <laughs> the most toxic it's like situation I've ever it's heard. Like an aqua teen with uh, Carl when he sees himself with hair, and he turns him into himself. Anyway, so I go work called and gave me a warning for missed missing a day. Lol. Okay, and they said like, "Oh, if this happens again, you're gonna be fired." And I'm like, "Don't fucking worry about it." Like, <laughs> oh my god! Wait, so what he? Wait, why is your solution in this game? You're like, oh, I'm so bored. Better not work either. Just give up. <laughs> so that was like, you know what? I'm gonna we're gonna stop doing everything and just try and make your life better, Michael. Don't worry about this fucking job anymore. This this job is garbage. You're gone all day. I'm bored, and you're only making a hundred dollars. It's really not worth it, and you you can't like it. We need to spend some time to make you more social, and yeah. uh, it pretty much didn't work. I kept calling people to hang out. It, it, I would call like a hundred times. Eventually, someone would come over, and then they just he just like wouldn't want to interact with them. They'd compliment him, wow. and he'd fucking get upset. This is a person who sleeps on dirt floor and plays with trains <laughs> instead of working. Yeah. He, he got very upset like, every time something positive was about to happen. Yeah. So uh, 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 this this person you've created is so actually depressing. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm playing. I'm like, I remember this being a lot more fun. Oh, I, <laughs> my people game. had a great time. Uh, so what we I were ended hanging up doing. Out, watching cartoons, eating the last, food on the floor. The last note I wrote. 
for Michael Bachelor was in all caps. <laughs> Why did you just pee on the ground? Oh my God. And that was the last that we will ever hear from Michael Bachelor. I gave up on his life. I mean, and I said, you know what? Maybe we need to start over because. I could not get him to be social. He wouldn't do anything. It was just like stuck in a bottomless pit. His life was trash. Yeah, you needed so to said, get him another job where he'll interact with people and I'll Jim, get it started. Jim, 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 none of this advice is helpful for him anymore. He's he's done. Bob, you're saying this like he's you know posthumous. Well, well <laughs> no, he's alive. He's alive. He's alive. We'll, 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 actually, that's not true. We'll hear one more thing. <laughs> that's actually not true. He's dead. Dead. I mean, we'll hear one more thing about uh, Michael Batcher. So the next thing I did is like, you know what? I think I need to re-roll. Let's start a new character. Okay. So I, I started a new character, and his name was Shit Kicker Crap Sauce. That was a funny name. I had to, at this point, I really had to lift my spirits. Right, actually, Bob, if you could edit in laughing right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, and at this point, I said, you know what? I think I had already played like two hours, two and a half hours. I said, yeah. I remember distinctly back in the day that codes were very fun Okay. for this game. And now, seeing as there is no goal to the game. I said to myself, oh, might as well figure out the codes. And let's play with some codes. Let's mm-hmm. have a little fun here. You know, let's pick it up. The The game itself, I couldn't do it. So I found out the code. I can't remember. It was called like Clausius or something that gives you $1,000. And then, well, to enter it, to get to the enter code thing, you have to do like Alt, Control, Shift, and C or something like that. Okay. It brings up a command menu. And then you put in the code. Clausius, it's some from a book. I can't remember the name. I didn't write it down. And then in order to repeat the code you had put in, you do exclamation mark and then semicolon, and you can do that as many times as you want. Ah. So now, shit kicker crap sauce has a lot of money, and I'm making a really <laughs> wait. Uh, you couldn't even do this for Mikey Batch. <laughs> hold on, hold on. So a, a, he's got a lot of money, and he started out in an empty house, whereas uh, Michael Bachelor already had a pre. Um, furnished house so i started making it i started making a little bigger i was making it nicer i was adding on to things and it seemed to be going pretty good like people it it was going a little too well people were coming over they were having a good time he had like nice things i didn't he didn't have an incredible amount of money but he was doing pretty well for himself he didn't need to work he was financially independent well i mean he had a nice codes codes. (laughs) yes then I started adding more and more codes into the mix, like debugging type codes, like seeing their walk and uh, intended walk patterns mm-hmm. and finding out a uh, sub context and enabling uh, God mode movement now, you, of you've objects. You've gone way too far. In, into I had gone way too far. I had good. Yeah, I'd gone way too far. So you basically they they allow you to do all kinds of debugging stuff that they used you know, okay. while they were testing the game. So I turned on a lot of that. And at some point, things started getting real glitchy, real glitchy. And I was like, you know what? Let's just quit out and, and start fresh. So I quit out and I have this knowledge now of codes. And I go back to my man, Michael Bachelor. M- MB. Open him up. Open it yeah, up. Open him he's up. Living, he's living, living his trash life. Yeah. Too depressed to hang out with anybody. Yeah. Now, Jim, let me tell you, because I think I figured out a lot about life. And this is going to be a good way to kind of round things out. Do, it, okay. Are you going to tell me that money solves all problems? Well, I have. <laughs> there's something to be said about that. So I start giving Michael money. Yeah, I mean, a lot of money. At this point, he's got like 30 G's in the bank. Now, I say to myself, self, how do I make this guy happier? Yeah. Jacuzzi. Yeah, obviously. That's and the I start key. buying him all the nice toys. How many jacuzzis? You know, bookshelves, did you just one, just one. Oh, jacuzzi. that's nice toys. You know, all the things. I got him new uh, appliances, new sofa. Now he's getting happier, but he still didn't have the social, and he he won't do a lot of things because he's so unhappy. So now I start ringing up this broad that I know over and over and over until <laughs> she finally <laughs> wear her down. <laughs> you wear her down, and then she eventually comes over. Yeah, well, first she it. comes over with her daughter, which I thought was strange. Okay. And All then, right. like, he's talking to her. No, like, way young daughter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so he's talking to her. He's talking to, he's talking to the little girl. And I'm like, this okay. is weird. And yeah. then he, like, so then whenever you meet someone, they get added to the people that you can call. So oh, at okay. one point, because the so. woman stopped wanting to hang oh, out. No, Bob, started, don't continue this sentence. <laughs> started don't. calling her daughter. Bob, how did you get into a sugar daddy situation? <laughs> <laughs> so I've called the daughter Cassandra oh my God. to ask her to come hang out with me. A grown man and Bob, his hot tub this is <laughs> this is a Jared Fogle situation you've worked out. <laughs> the mom picks up the phone and goes, "She can't come over. She's in school." 
Oh no. <laughs> So I hang up, call back, and ask her to come back out. Yeah, and then you're like, I'm one says, of the boys from school. <laughs> <She's>, <laughs> Hello, fellow good children. Yeah. So she eventually, after calling her a number of times, she's like, oh, sure, I'll be right over. Just got to brush my teeth. I'm like, what the fuck? I don't know why you changed your mind. She gives me a chance. She comes over. The hot tub. The mom working. or the it's, kid? The mom. Oh, the, okay. the kid is no longer part of the story. The kid's okay, okay, far okay. away, okay, safe okay. at school All still. Right, thank you. The kid never, never came to be. So the mom comes, she's hanging out, they get in the hot tub, she gets in naked, oh no, she didn't get in naked, her fatter neighbor did. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> that was unexpected development, <laughs> there's just, uh, hold on, so yeah, I guess, when did this neighbor come into the mix? So, so, so she just point, appears. I was trying to figure out how I lure her into the hot tub. Right, you I shouldn't say at that lure. Point, you already have a burdening relationship with a minor. No, because Maybe okay, here's, isn't here's why phrase. I say lure. I had no interest in trying to make any moves because you have to keep in mind at this point, he can barely talk to people without them being disgusted. Right. So I'm literally yeah. just trying to give him some social interaction. Like I really feel bad and I'm frustrated. So I just want him to talk. Yeah. So I get him to go in the hot tub. And then as I'm trying to figure out how to tell her or ask her to get in, she just gets in bathing suits. Hop in there, and they're talking. They're talking. They're talking, and yeah. the social's going up. The comfort's going right. up. White suit, it's cream fucking, berries. The hot tub is like solving his whole life. At some point, neighbors start showing up. That's when I mentioned the more heavy set neighbor that it showed up. <laughs> All right, your now, words, not mine. The first one leaves. She's there. She gets it naked. Right. Now it's a naked hot tub scenario. Right. Except she's much except more it's free. Just, just her naked though, and me. At oh, this you've, point, you've de- he's got naked. Well. Yeah, okay, he's okay. naked. And now he's got another friend. Right. Another guy. No, in the nothing, mix. nothing, uh, you know, interacting. Her husband's comes around a roommate. I don't know. He's he's hanging out. Then at some point, him and I are naked in the hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> then we're too naked. And we got yeah. like a nice kind of like, you know, sauna men's club vibe going on. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then like all confusion starts breaking out because. People are trying to pee, but other people won't leave the bathroom. And then for some reason, like everyone's in the bathroom and yeah, he's dying yeah. to pee. Believe me, I know a lot about awkward bathroom <laughs> situations. <laughs> so I end up building another bathroom just so he could pee because he's in such distress. You could and build a bathroom? Out. So you build a wall, add a toilet and a sink. You, you got to build a wall? You could expand your house. You could literally expand your house, build <sighs> little walls. Fuck. You could build any shape you want. Oh, well, you know. You missed like a huge aspect Bob, of the game there was of being so able to build your own house. You could build a second garbage. floor. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about yeah. it. I was trying to find if I could buy another garbage can. You probably could have. I didn't see it, but yeah, you probably could have. But I mean, at this point in Michael Basser's life, I hire a maid. Hmm. I hired uh, somebody to do the bushes. I, I'm calling in pizzas. I called one pizza boy and trapped him. <laughs> sorry. Oh, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I mean, at this point, I'm just playing God to amuse myself. Yeah. So I call the pizza guy. He's waiting outside the house for me to come get him. I switch into build mode and I build walls all around <laughs> him. <laughs> and I change the floor to all black gravel to try to make it as sad and scary as possible. Right. <laughs> and he's very upset. Can you put like a lion in there with him or something? No, unfortunately, I could not. He's calling for help. He's crying. <laughs> really? Oh, my yeah. God. He, well, it, it's trapped in a room. This is like your entire experience is so macabre. <laughs> so unfortunately, he didn't like die or anything, but he just like disappeared at some point. But that that reminds me, and that and that's pretty much. Oh, he um, just disappeared. He didn't die. He just disappeared at some point. But you can die because I remember back in the day when I originally had played as as a lad, I had built this super awesome mansion. Of course, using a lot of codes. I didn't mm. do. I didn't bother with any yeah, of this th- working a job. Not shit. much has changed since you were a lad. It <laughs> seems I built this super awesome house where one part of the house. In order to get to it, it was surrounded by pool. So you had to go up to the second floor and then down the stairs to the pool island and the island in the middle of the pool. Now, a fire broke out. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Luckily, you're safe in the pool. Well, well, so so I thought. So a fire breaks out of that part, which is kind of like a a, kind of a cabana. I, I think I had a little kitchen in there and I was making something to eat or I don't remember exactly how it broke out. But fire breaks out. Fire department shows up. 
they can't fucking get to the fire because there's a pool in the way right. and the firemen don't know how to swim. So my sim is screaming, the house is on fire, the firemen are running in circles mm. like crazy trying to figure out what yep, to do. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. I, there's no, you know, grab a bucket option. So the fucking guy got trapped in the fire and died. I remember mm. he burned to death in that scenario because okay. of, of pool island. I flew too close to the sun on wings of wax and pool. I see. Yeah. yeah. But um, that was the that was the full story with uh with Michael Bachelor, and I, I have one okay. last thing to add. Sure. Um, in terms of my experience with the game, and then we could wrap up here. Um, and I've made it through almost all my notes. So there was a demo in the game to teach you how to play the game, a tutorial, tutorial part. Of okay. The right. The family was called uh, the newbie family. Okay. Right? Common term. Now here's the part you'll enjoy. The character that you control. Is a fat, dirty, bald, bearded man named Bob. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh my me. God. I go, uh, that's wow. what I wrote. Fat, bald, bearded, dirty man named Bob. I mean, I mean, come on. Those are your words <laughs> as you choose to use them. Yes. How do you, did, did he like have stink lines? How did you know he was he dirty? Was wearing, he was wearing like stained sweats. Mm, did he have like a wife beater on? And I think, no, he didn't. He was, he had sweats and I think like his gut was even showing like, you know, where it lifts up a little bit because he's too bulbous. He had kind of that thing going on. And that, and that could teach you to play the game. Um, I didn't really learn anything in that one, but I thought it was, it was nice that it had it because it literally is like a guided walkthrough. It's like, click on here. Okay. Now click on there. Um, but there was a whole help menu that you could turn on, like interactive help menu. Okay. And it would tell you all the different things. And that, and that's where I learned about like um, learning to cook will allow you to cook food, which will give you more sustenance. So you have to cook less often, stuff like that. So okay. there's a lot of things within the game to help you. Um, I thought that the the HUD and the controls are very intuitive. Um, they, they mentioned, I was watching, uh, Will Wright give a speech and he said that they spent like a gajillion hours on the HUD, like constantly removing and adding and removing and removing and removing things. And he said like his kind of design principle is like, how many things can you remove? Like try and make it as least as possible, but they still have a lot of functions. So they put a lot of work into making it so people could pick up the game. And the, and the idea there being they wanted all different levels of people to be able to use, to jump in and start playing, not okay. just a hardcore gamer. They want a hardcore gamer to have something there for them, the sustenance, mm -hmm. but they wanted your random Joe Schmo to be able to pick up the game and start playing. And and I think, although you seem to have a little bit of trouble to start with, I think it's fairly intuitive. It's hard for me to say because I, I did have previous experience back in the day. Yeah, I but, don't I don't remember ever playing the original. Yeah. yeah. But I think it's so, fairly I mean, Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I had a great time. Yeah. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad to hear that because, you know, I... <laughs> I had a much better time learning about Will Wright and his design principles mm -hmm. and uh, learning about how he made the game and his inspirations than I did playing the game, which I okay. found very unfortunate. But we're, I'm kind of learning now. I didn't mix things up enough. Like maybe if I had three or four people living in the house, mm. I would have you know, had a better time. There just wasn't enough chaos. Yeah, maybe. So one last uh, note I'll say, and then sure. we'll wrap this one up here. Um Pretty funny story. He was talking about that. Um, okay, this is kind of two things. I know we've almost ended. Oh my god! Sorry if anybody listened to this at home. First one is, um, you know, those random things that would go wrong that I was talking about. Okay. There was a bug in the game where, for no reason, and they weren't able to figure it out, your character would just burst into flames. Oh, that's cool. And it was a bug, a hundred percent a bug, oh, and they couldn't yeah. figure out mm -hmm. how to fix it. And the users. Just thought it was amazing. They were like yeah. so surprised. They're like, oh, wow. He, in spontaneous human combustion. It's in the game. Like, this is amazing. And so they really enjoyed it. That's, that's a funny little twist. It just happened to, to work out well. Uh, and the second part, just to, to tap into um, what I was saying about the different items. Um, I didn't add any custom items to the game. There was probably, if you looked, probably at this point, gigantic packs of items that you could add. Okay. Okay. Um, and that would you know even further increase your interest in the game, and that's probably what helped keep me going back in the day. I remember I could flash back. I remember being in Spanky's basement. I remember playing in our house with Nick, and I remember looking through all the different stuff that you could download. And there was like teleporters and all kinds of crazy stuff that uh, fans had made. Some were made mm. by the studio. And to bring it all the way back, um, this game. Uh, or I don't know if it's this game or in the series is known is in the Guinness Book of World Records for having the most expansion packs for a game. Interesting for a for a, for a video game. 
Uh, I think, as I mentioned, this first one alone has seven, uh, which when I talked to someone and uh, hey, Travis, I'll shout you out, Travis. He was like, isn't that game just like a cash grab? They kept making expansion packs to make money. Who knows the motivation? But from the perspective of, of Will Wright and the devs, he said what they did was they saw what people in the community were doing in terms of creating items, creating stories and scenarios, because apparently I think they was creating stories. They'd have these like pre set up situations and you'd have to play their way out. They would see what people were trying to do and were able to do, but couldn't and then mm. would pick up from there. So like, oh, this I see they're trying to do some kind of magic genie, but they're not going to be able to do the custom like, uh, code needed to get that together. So yeah. they'd start putting that together. So community inspired. Exactly. Yeah. So it, it's a little bit more um, virtuous from at least from the perspective that right, the time right, is. Right, and right. I think yeah. it kind of makes sense because it really, when he was giving the presentation, he went through all the different fan sites and they, how much they loved the community and the community loved them. And it was this whole huge phenomenon really at the time. Okay, so okay, okay. maybe at a different point, we'll go. I mean, honestly, we'll probably go and play, you know, a different version of The Sims, move on to Sims 2. Possibly, uh, if enough people are really interested, know. we could play our expansion pack that we have with all the expansions or a specific one that you remember that you really liked. Um, okay. But I would say, <sighs> Jim, uh, and I think yeah. I've asked you this every time. Oh, oh I would need, not recommend someone. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Bob. Shut yeah. sh- 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 your mouth. Sh- sh- go ahead, Bob, shut your mouth. Yeah. We need a rating system. Yeah, We talked about this. Yeah, okay. Okay. So in terms of how much I enjoyed playing it as a fat old man now, it, I'm giving it, it a it, three it, out of five bald bob heads. Right. But is it, it, so does this have anything to do with the fact that you found some sort of virtual mirror image of yourself in the training <laughs> mode? It does not. Okay. It does not. But I'd say playing it right now, unfortunately, I didn't... I didn't enjoy playing it as much as I wanted to. So I, I, and so I'd 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 only give it a three out of five. Yeah, let's let's do out of ten, unless you're going to give it point fives and point two five. Well, or okay. Like so then I, would, I truth, truthfully would probably have given it a five out of ten. Bald right. bob heads. Okay, I'd give it like a seven out of ten. But you can get. But what's your score? What's your scale of? What's your score out of ten? How Just much you enjoyed in, it? Yeah, or total should enjoyment. Play it or, yeah. So yeah. I, I'm not going to give separate ratings and like a uh, an aggregate of everything together. Yeah. But I would just say in terms like cumulative, like. Is it worth recommending? Did I have fun playing it? You know, yeah. every, you know, does it hold up? Everything wrapped together. I mean, if in the future we want to give separate ratings for things, you know, whatever. But I think in general, what was my experience? I'd call it like a seven out of ten. Seven. I mean, like 10. maybe because it was so comical, all the things that were happening to me so quickly, and how fucked up my first go around was, and I was like, what yeah. the fuck is even happening with this cracked ass game? So what are you? What is your? Seven out of ten what? So mine's mine's five out of ten bald bob heads. Oh, seven out of ten. Yeah, they're points. Points. Just yeah, points. they're points. Yeah. Could, can we? Are they? Let's say gym points. Can no, we say gym no, points? they're not. Those so are that's just, a whole different just, scale. Just no, generic that's... Walmart. No, no, no. Brand they're not. Points. No, they're not Walmart points. Uh, so they're unbranded. Yeah, specifically yeah. points. Okay, seven yeah, out of ten yeah, points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. Um. So now I'm going to run through all of our little administrative stuff here, real quick, before Jim reveals next week's game. So if you have a game that you'd like to recommend that we play, please send us an email, an electronic mail, to the boys at cdromp.com. Uh, additionally, if you want to look through uh, the rest of our episodes, check out the YouTube channel, see what we're doing on uh, all the different podcasteries, however you want to watch slash listen to us. That's also at cdromp.com. Very easy catalog to look through, find your games and uh, check out the games we've done and, and let us know a game that we should do. Uh, so, Jim, if you want to take us home here, please. Yeah. Let us know what we'll be playing next week. So, well, this week. This we week. Will, yes. This week we will, we will be playing Sanitarium. The 1998 point-and-click adventure horror game. Interesting. I've never heard of it. I've never heard of it either, but apparently okay. it won Adventure Game of the Year or something like that. It uh, Last time we talked about Adventure Game of the Year, it was yeah. Escape from Monkey Island. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I was a bit hesitant to um, play another like point-and-click game, but it's yeah. like so common for the era, you know? Yeah. And this game is yeah, supposed to be good, and we've never heard of it, so we can... Be completely fresh and not have to. We can give it a like. Would you want to play it today for the first time? Recommendation because we'll play it today for the first time. First time, you know okay. what I mean. And now let me ask you this question. Yeah. Am I? Are Are you to tell me now or soon? 
how the game shall be played. Oh, I see you just sent me a link on Steam. So yes. there you go. We're going to punt Steam. So we'll, as, as I've told you before, I do yeah, look these do up before I prepare a okay. recommendation. All right. Well, I think that that's what we'll do moving forward. You'll give... No, 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 but, you'll but, give Bob, your game me, and you'll tell them how it will be played. But Bob, but we we were yeah. already doing this before. No, 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 it was no, no, before no. this one time we were looking no, up no, no, in no, advance no, no. how yes, we were going to play. Well, it. well, that's because last time I was only I was looking <laughs> through Steam for games. Hey, I mean, hey, come on now, Jim. So yeah, I mean that's that's the should game. People, should people go? No, play The Sims. People shouldn't go. They should stay. Should people stay and play The Sims right yeah. now in um, 2021? Yeah, I, th- I think it's fun. I mean, keeping I'll, in mind that you have all the other Sim games to choose from, yeah. should they play The Sims One? Get yeah, the I baseline. Mean, I guess. I mean, maybe not. The other Sims are probably the newer Sims are probably better. No. Yeah. I don't know. I'm so like, I, that's probably opinion. an unfair comparison. Like, should you drive a Model T or should you drive? You know, the new e- well, E-Mock Mustang GT or whatever. No, that's not 100% true because people like driving older cars with worse technology because that's a true feel but to it. I mean, I, does this you know, game have a feel because it's older? N- I don't Hard think to say. So. You know I what? think it's, even the newer ones to have a, yeah. I, I, because I, you, we, yeah. Ha- we haven't played enough of the newer ones. That's an unfair question to ask. I would say, even though it's an unfair question to ask, and I'll ask myself. Yeah, ask yourself. It's free. I'd maybe try and get it going real quick to see if you kind of like the idea. In the actuality, you should probably play one of the newer ones. Unless oh, you're I would some, just someone like, to like say us. That obviously you should buy a copy of this game and not participate in, you know, distributions of free copies of purchase software. I would like to say that I I, I did buy the game. Yeah, but uh, we were playing off the version that Bob bought. And I was playing my entirely legal backup of yes. the game. Yeah. Just like all those ROMs I never had. Yep. Dun, dun, dun. All yeah. right. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to CD Romp. Uh, we'll catch you next week if you want to play along with us. Uh, try and play three hours or, you know, until you get it of uh, yeah, I mean, if Sanitarium. You get it. If you get it, you'll know. Sanitarium. We'll catch you next time. Thanks so much for tuning in. Peace. Peach. Peach.